Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Sapphire Evolved Bobby Portis. Sorry, Ruby Evolved Bobby Portis. Uh, Bobby's Evo, seven blocks, four steals. Really wasn't that hard. I got the steals easier than I generally expect to with steals, so that was kind of nice. Uh, but he gets up to a 90 mid range, gets some nice post boosts, plus five standing, plus 10 driving dunk, plus 33 perimeter is huge. That helps really make all of his defense at least serviceable, if not good. He's a super solid rebounder, gets plus four strength, so that's up to an 88. Now up to 76 speed, 68 excel, 73 ladder of weakness. I mean, just overall, a lot of solid all-around boosts. Gold back down punisher, dream shake, drop stepper, master hook, specialist, post fade, phenom, and bulldozer. It's all interior finishing badges that he gets boosted up. Hoping the Bucks continue to do well in the in-season tournament. They're 2-0 so far. Two more games to come for the Bucks. So another card just like Derek White and Jared Vanderbilt, both of whom I did gameplays earlier, or gameplays with earlier, has the potential still to get all the way up to a diamond and potentially can get two more Evos still. So... Bobby Portis, I really like this card as a Sapphire. I think I'm going to like him even more as a Ruby. Six foot, 11 center, 89 offense, 85 defense, 79 driving layup, 90 midi, 84 three ball, uh, 80 standing and driving dunk, 82 ball handle, or sorry, 82 free throw. He's not much of a ball handler, but 72 blocks, 75 steals, 73 perimeter, 81 interior, 75 offensive and 88 defensive rebounding, 76 speed, 68 speed of ball and excel, 73 lateral quickness. Overall, statistically super solid for a center. 15 golds and seven silver badges include badges like that back down punisher dream shake drop stepper masher post spin catch and shoot claymore corner specialist pogo stick box up beast rebound chaser hook specialist post fade phenom big driver and bulldozer silver posterizer rise up green machine guard up brick wall precision dunker and open looks mostly finishing shooting and then some defense and like rebounding badges as well on scotty or sorry on bobby portis um this card though like all he needs he gets a couple of defensive badges and he's pretty much there because he doesn't need play he doesn't really need ball handling i don't need him to be a shot creator i'm not really worried about that lack his release is really nice he's a very smooth catch and shoot shooter really good release uh and then defensively he's already going to be solid he's got 76 speed that's already very solid for a center as well really all i need is a little bit more interior defensive ability but he's already not a liability on the interior by any means he's got pretty good speed overall i really like the potential of this card because of the fact that he still can get improved upon a good chunk going from an 88 to 92 will mean pretty significant stat and badge boosts uh, as we saw with jared vandalo for example got some pretty solid boosts today and i'm sure we'll get another pretty big boost if he goes to diamond on tuesday it'll be interesting to see how big of the boost to amethyst into Di from amethyst to diamond is uh with jared vandalo assuming the lakers win on tuesday um which fingers crossed that does happen um and it's i just think there's a lot of hope for bobby portis because he's already a really good value center like i think he's already probably the best value center in the game in fact definitely the best value center in the game for 13 thousand mt but um i just think overall really good card very high hopes for him and i think he's going to be a beast i already think he's a very good card so let's hop into a game see what bobby portis can do our opponent in this gameplay honestly has a pretty bad team um uh, be at center is kind of an interesting matchup we will run around him speed wise but size wise it's at least intriguing we'll see what happens unfortunately i'm kind of running out of time and i got to finish this gameplay in addition to a tobias harris video which will be coming here in just a little bit and then i gotta leave so i'm running out of time today so unfortunately going to have to um play this one out anyway even though the opponent isn't the best but it is what it is attack the rim pump fake here with uh portis 68 spew ball is not like a ton but Okay, we get called for it. Well, and never mind, there's a blocking foul. I thought that was definitely going to be a charge animation, but we'll take it. Um, 68 suit of ball isn't an insane amount or anything, but I think off the catch and shoot off a pop or something, he could drive the ball. 80 driving dunk. He's going to give you at least a little bit of ability in those areas. Uh, dude, why does my right, my right stick has now failed to work three times? Um, it's still not working. There we go. Now it's working. We're four seconds left in the shot clock, but I can finally actually move and try to create a shot. And we do create a shot for Bobby Portis as he knocks down the mid-range first possession of the game. That gold catch and shoot, really smooth release. He's just going to be a butter catch and shoot shooter. And uh, really, really like that for sure. Bad pass. Trying to Euro step through the lane. Really just had nothing going. I could go coast to coast with Siakam here if I wanted to. Um, I could also take a wide open three if I wanted to. But I really want to get Bobby Portis involved in another pick and roll. And he's... Are you going to come guard me? Hello, please come guard me. Thank you. Now, at least try to guard me. That's like, that's all I really want. Blow by Bobby Portis. Blow by Bobby Portis. The spin move. Bobby Portis spin dunk. Nice move. Bobby Portis getting past Wimby. Spin dunk at the rim. Very good move. Bobby Portis gets his second bucket of the game. Watch that. Wow. I just got half anchor. Just got dropped up by Detlef Shrimp and dunked on. That's kind of crazy. That's fine. Uh, burst here between the legs here. Let's go back to the right now. Oh, he just like, what in the world? He just like full ran into me. 
Um, backdoor dunk. <laughs> Why does that work? I don't know. I didn't even send a backdoor. He just cut and got a dunk. I'll take it. Uh, w activity by Bobby Portis getting behind Wimby. That free agent Wimby is just very, very slow. That is not a good card in the way that Wimby certainly will be a good card later this year when he gets better cards because I'm sure Wimby will be the best card in the game at multiple points this year in all likelihood. But right now, his free agent card is not great. Uh, and Bobby Port is kind of cooking right now. Front fade animation is pretty fast. Wow, very fast front fade. Not able to knock that one down, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, step back with Wimby. What are you doing? He has like 25 speed. I don't think that's really the strategy you want to be employing right now. Question of, eh, not a horrible shot. Can we just get a rebound? Get I don't know. Can't get a stop right now because we can't get a rebound. Uh, I guess that is the one thing Wimby does give you is at 7 for 5, he's just going to reach over everybody for rebounds. Uh, but let's play some defense here. We're good. Yep, we're good. I mean, he has no scoring. There's nobody on his court who can really score the ball. Pascal Siakam, why are you getting dogged out by freaking Detlef Shrimp right now? Like, what am I seeing? Why am I getting dogged by Detlef Shrimp? That's two possessions in a row that Detlef Shrimp has finished them off with dunks over Siakam. Catch and shoot. Bobby Portis. There's the Wimby length. That's tough, too. Uh, behind the back, let's attack here. Dude, we have nothing open right now. Catch, shoot, Bobby Portis. No! My got nothing right now. I'm struggling big time offensively against a really bad team. This is another rough game for me, honestly. What are you... He made that. <laughs> we didn't block... We should have blocked that into the, uh, into the third... Whatever, bro. Let's win this game. Let's get Bobby Portis going. This has been a kind of a dumb game so far, but catch, shoot, Siakam, open three, bucket. Good pass from Bobby Portis. Good bucket. He helped over with Detlef Shrimp, and we'll take our assist up by one. Let's get a couple stops, a couple buckets, and we're just going to run away with this one in the last two minutes. It's been sloppy and rough so far, but there's no way Detlef Shrimp is going to... Yo! I understand the Euro step is a good move this year, but what is going on with my Pascal Siakam right now? Like, holy crap, we can't even attempt to get a stop, it doesn't seem like. Drive the ball, SGA, hit it out to Portis. Portis catch and shoot. Portis, green light. Don't give him room. He's going to be knocked down. Easy three ball for Bobby Portis. We are now up 12 to 10. He's got nine points, and even with a pretty poor gameplay so far, Bobby Portis starting to put up numbers and definitely starting to make a big impact. Um, we don't have to sit through this whole timeout, my boy. I promise we don't. See if we can get him takeover potentially as well. I think he's probably got sharpshooting takeover still, um, which I would be totally fine with, to be completely honest. Uh, it's probably the best takeover in the game. Even for a big man, I really like that. And going up against a Wimby as well, I feel like we could kind of run away and fade and stuff. We could get one or two more buckets. We'll be just fine. Let's play some defense here. We're going to send a blitz here, and then we're going to rotate to Jetlift Shrimp. And we're going to play everything. Holy crap, Kai. Kawhi just played three dudes. That is absolutely insane. Look at the speed. Low key. Bobby Portis running the floor. And he was kind of out in front of everyone. Catches the ball. I was trying to go up. Jerry West fouls. But we're going to the free throw line. Bobby Portis free throw release isn't too bad. Slightly late there. Only 71%, but not too horrible. And then the second one is 78%. Knocks both of them down. Bobby Portis. One good play away from takeover. But I don't think it matters what the good play is. Rebound, stop, contest, bucket, anything like that. Uh, would, would get the job done for sure right now. And block will certainly do the job. Bobby Portis with the block on Victor Wimbenyama. And he's going to run. He's going to fade. I'm fading with Bobby Portis. I don't care. Uh, Ruby Bobby Portis. That's not even that bad of a shot. I really don't think so. But let's get to the corner. Good D, Bobby. Yep, we're back. We're good. He can kind of guard in the perimeter. I mean, he's not a horrible perimeter defender. 73 lateral quickness. He's got decent steal rating, decent perimeter defense rating. And that's just a terrible pass. I will take that ball every single day of the week. Uh, run here with Paul. Paul George, Paul George, back out to Portis, Portis with the pump fake, going to run hopefully to the left, uh, we'll push cross, I I'm trying to shot create with Bobby Portis going up against an actually good defender, so that's maybe not the best idea, but let's get in this post, and let's shoot the post fade, oh my goodness, Bobby Portis, he's a buck, oh, that is such a crappy fast, I mean, it's not crappy, it's just very fast post fade animation, I do some weird stuff in some of these gameplays sometimes in terms of like what we're trying to run offensively and stuff. What are speaking of what he's trying to do? This man, I think, has figured out the Eurostep and that's it. And he's trying to run his entire team through Eurostepping pretty much. Bobby Portis, by the way, very good performance in a very weird gameplay, admittedly, but still very easy win. And I thought Bobby Portis played really well. So let's head back to the main menu. Let's view the card. 
I know that wasn't the best opponent in the world, and honestly, I did not play that great either, but Bobby Portis with multiple buckets, he did get to take over. He got himself a couple of defensive plays as well. Release is just so smooth on this card, and he's a solid defender with pretty good speed at the center position at this point. I mean, he's pretty much by default the best center option in the game for his price point because there's nobody else even close to 13,000 MTUs close to him. Really, the only even budget centers that are even in the same stratosphere right now would be by Serge Ibaka and kind of Dino Raja. I guess I guess Nas Reed is another tournament battles budget center who still could Evo to Diamond because the Timberwolves haven't lost yet in the end season tournament. And he's a really good budget center as well. But Bobby Port is probably the best value center in the game right now. I like him better than Nas Reed. And I think he's a really, really good card in my team. And I think if he gets some more defensive boosts, some improved defensive badges especially, you're really looking like a next level, versatile, really, really good value power forward. And this just, that's so why I keep saying the same thing with all these tournament battles cards. Such good value. And it's a phenomenal promo, and we see, especially as these cards continue to get evoed, it just becomes better and better. So that is going to do it for this video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate you all. Peace.